Bren, what's the problem? We need you back on the double. Uh, no problem. Problem at all. Systems back online. I'm on my way. Chief Force is down to 3.5. Are we close to clear? Yes. Give me something, anything. 2.8? I can give you a quick heavy burn, but it'll be short. Damage indicators, starboard thrusters. I'm losing power. Up to G5. Oh, we missed it. Burning power to the shields. Jen, damage report. I'm detecting rim fractures in R1 and R2 thrusters. It sounds like we're being squashed like a trunnion bottle. Graphically expressive, Gret, but not precise. Hull stress is 0.62 below critical. Do we know how long attacking the storm lasts? From what I can gather, about a century. Let's go for it. Good call, Reb. Now we've got an engine offline. When I say let's go for it, that means line up the angle immediately. Very impressive. Nothing like watching a bunch of civilians do what they do best in a crisis situation. Blame each other. Jen, calculate how long our shields will hold up. At current conditions, 126 minutes. Okay. Looks like we have to go outside to do this repair. You know you'll need to plot a course for the shuttle before we can see out. Wait a minute. It's up to G5 out there. Let's not send both pilots out. He's got a point, Red. I can handle it on my own. Love the hero attitude, but it takes two to do this repair. How about Yuna and me? Sounds good to me. I don't know. You can direct me by remote. Zach, just get suited up. If you wait for a democratic decision, we'll be here forever. That's right. Let's go. Red, I'm putting my station on standby. Call me if you need me. Are you geared up? Almost. I'm seeing everything clean and green here, Yuna. Reflight checks out. Powering up. Stepped in and ready to go. We confirm. I'm opening the shuttle gate now. How much time do I have? Safe parameters are 10 minutes for the repair and 10 minutes for the return journey. Read you loud and clear. We're ready to disengage. have separation. Message recorded 14th July, 2156, Araxis Base. Bren, this message is for your eyes only. Trust no one. The success of the mission depends on it. Congratulations. I just heard that the committee has chosen you as a genetic donor for the Deepwater Group. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, sir. It's an honor. Ren, it's no secret. It's been quite a battle to persuade the governing council to accept a military officer. But they couldn't have made a better choice. You're the ideal officer to command this mission. I'll try not to disappoint you, sir. Bear in mind, You'll be passing on not only your superior genetics, but also your experience, your memories. And that means your qualities of character, qualities that the Sentinel Corps values highly. Loyalty, courage, commitment to your fellow crew members, but most of all, your sense of honor. As your commanding officer, I can tell you that I would have no problem placing my trust in any officer 
who possessed your dedication to duty. You can expect my very best, sir. Yes, I know I can. Goodbye. Looking good so far. How's the ride? Rough. I need those coordinates. Coming up. Bren, since you're receiving this message, you will know by now that Council has placed command solely in the hands of the civilian crew. The fact that you found this message device hidden in an emergency panel indicates your ship may now be in jeopardy. Even though, as Sentinel Corps officers, we may be reluctant to do it, now may be the time to take command of your ship. Be on guard. You may encounter people who do not possess the proper commitment to the success of the mission. Listen to the following instructions closely. Reb, we're coming up on the thrusters now. I can see the areas of damage. We're in position. Mm -hmm. There's the plasma leakage. Bear in mind, you'll be passing on not only your superior genetics, but also your experience, your memories. And that means your qualities of character, qualities that the Sentinel Corps values highly. Loyalty, courage, commitment to your fellow crew members. But most of all, sense of honor. As your commanding officer, I can tell you that I would have no problem placing my trust in any officer who possessed your dedication to duty. You're the ideal officer to command this mission. The success of the mission depends on it. There's a pocket of high-velocity turbulence approaching. I'm not sure how close we will come, but we better be prepared. You know, we've got some turbulence coming. How are you doing there? One second. How's it look, Zach? Here's the scan now. Clean it tight. Way to go. Reb, R1 is finished, and now we're moving on to R2. Two. You know, there's too much turbulence. You'd better abort. No, we need this thruster. I'll hang in. No, you not get out. We've got shield perforations and an incoming on your 12 o'clock. I'm almost finished. I think. Yuna. Yuna. Shuttle, what's happening? Give me a report. Mayday, Mayday, we lost contact. I think we broke through the shields. Turn on your emergency locator to hold tight. We'll drop the shield so you can get back. Command, this is shuttle. Do you read? Command, do you read? Over. I can't raise them. Where are they? Up here now. I'm already on my way. Yuna? Yuna? Shuttle, are you there? I think we've lost contact. Yuna, if you can hear me, stay where you are. We're coming to get you. Where's Brent? Right here. Good. Stand by on weapons. I need you to clear a path. I don't see them anywhere in the scan. They vanished. Well, keep trying. We're going to get them. No, we're not. It's too much of a risk. Brent? Ren, this is no time for a debate. You're right. Ren, what are you doing? I'm sorry I have to do this, Reb, but I can't let you put the mission in jeopardy. They're gone. Accept it. I am not leaving them out there. 